Last year, more than 13 million people were starving in the Horn of Africa. People were driven to leave their homes in search of water and food. Dan Church Aid and our partners in the Act Alliance were immediately ready with emergency relief, not least thanks to the long-term commitment that the Alliance has in the region. This assistance has saved many lives. While the drought was at its peak, images of hungry refugees from the big camps in Ethiopia, Somalia and Kenya went over the world's TV screens. Dan Church Aid and our partners in the ACT Alliance have provided water, food, medicine and hygiene articles to hundreds of thousands of refugees. But other areas outside the camera's view were hit hard. In the Borena region of southern Ethiopia, Dan Church Aid and the ACT Alliance, among other things, helped to assure access to water. Here, in the village of Gayo, 200 locals are in the process of renovating a traditional water well, which was destroyed by floods. Instead of receiving traditional relief aid, they get paid for the work, which they use to buy seed, grain, and to send children to school. When the well is completed, it will supply 200 people, 1,000 cattle, and 800 goats with water every day. This dam at the village of Harawole is completed. Before, it was only a small pond. Today, it contains 30,000 cubic meters in two pools, one for animals and one for humans. Before, women had to go 15 kilometers several times a week to collect water. Today, they need only to walk a few hundred steps. Several of the most affected families have also been given new goats and families have helped to clear the stubborn bush, allowing for more grazing land for animals. Again, people have been paid for their work instead of receiving traditional relief aid. It's a more efficient and dignified form of relief and gives people the opportunity to buy what they need at the local market. Dan Church Aid and the ACT Alliance have been responsible for reforestation projects where infant trees grown in nurseries are later planted on dry land. The holes are dug in a system that is designed to keep rainwater longer in the ground when the rains finally come. On the Horn of Africa, the first spring rain started too late and ended too soon. And if there is insufficient rain this autumn, the population will be plunged into a severe famine once again. But with help from the Act Alliance, many families are much better prepared this time.